माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर विभूति दत्त सिंह पी जी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी डी ए वी पी जी कॉलेज सिवान बिहार टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्किल्स ऑफ फिसेस दिस टॉपिक इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर बी एस सी पार्ट सेकेंड जोलॉजी ऑनर्स दिस पोटेंशियल टॉपिक इंक्लूड्स द पॉइंट नंबर वन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ फिस स्केल्स पॉइंट नंबर टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्केल्स स्ट्रक्चर एंड इट्स एग्जाम्पल पॉइंट नंबर थ्री मोडिफिकेशन ऑफ स्केल्स पॉइंट नंबर फोर यूजेज ऑफ स्केल्स इंट्रोडक्शन द साइंटिफिक स्टडी ऑफ फिस इज कॉल्ड इथियोलॉजी द साइंटिफिक स्टडी ऑफ स्केल्स इज कॉल्ड एस्क्वा मेटोलॉजी In most of the fishes, the skin is covered with an esquelet-skeleton in the form of scales, and only a few are necked, having no scales on the body, as the catfishes. The scales is a small, rigid plate that grow out of an animal's skin to provide protection. Generally classified. as part of an organism integumentary system in many vertebrates the esquelettal and covering of the body is made up of two types of scales epidermal scales and dermal scales a epidermal scales epidermal scales are cornified derivatives of the malphigian layers of epidermis they are well developed in terrestrial vertebrates such as reptiles birds and mammals dermal scales dermal scales are mesenchymals in origins and especially developed in the fishes they are small thin cornified calcareous or bony plates which fit closely together or overlap scales are usually found covering entire body surface but in some fishes and like chimerans and polydons and acipenser the scales are present in some localized areas next slide and types of scales the following types of scales are found in living and extinct fishes show the first scale scales and cosmoid scales second plecoid scales third genoid scales and fourth cycloid scales and fifth tenoid scales so first of all i discuss about the cosmoid scales the cosmoid scales are found in the extinct crops terrestrial and dipnoin the external layer of the scales is thin and enamel like and is called the vitrodentine these were characteristics of shorten ostracoderms and placoderms and extinct example low fin and lung fishes these are considered of four distinct layers a outermost thin enamel like genoines b thick dentine like cosmine c a spongy bone number d inner most compact bone example extinct corospetalgy and dipnoi you can see the structure of cosmoid scales then after 
I discuss about the plequoid scales. The plequoid scales also called denticles. These are characteristics or elasmobranchs fishes only. Each plequoid scales consist of backwardly erected spine arising from a rounded or from vital basal plate embedded in dermis. Point number two, a spine is made of enamel-like and basal bony materials. A pulp cavity inside a spine opens through basal plates. Point number three, plequoid skulls are closely set together in a skin giving in a sandapur like quality. Example Ascoridans, Sark, Escatus, and Raise Cartilaginous Fishes. So you can see the structure of dogfish. Then after you can see the structure of sharkfish. This is the complete the example of cartilaginous fish. Then after the structure plequoid skulls with dorsal and ventral view. Next, genoid skulls. The genoid or romoid skulls are thick, usually romoid or diamond shaped plate and closely fitted side by side like tiles providing a bony armor to the fishes. Point number two, in some cases, they may overlap genoid skulls are characteristics of the example for polypetrus, acipensers and holosteans, lepido, estus show that these are the often after cold genoid fishes. Polypetrus has pelion squads, scales composed of three layers, a outer enamel like genoines, b middle dentine like isopedine, and C inner bony lepidoestrius has lepidoestoid genoid skulls with only two layers A outer genoids and B inner isopedine. Example polypetrus. Acipensers, Holosteans, Lepidoestrius, and Baufins, Amia Calva. So you can see the structure of Genoid skulls. The structure of polypetrus, you can see the structure of polypetrus, you can see the bound fin amia calva. Then, after I discuss about the cycloid skulls, cycloid skulls are thin, flexible, and translucent plates, rather circular in outline, thicker in center, and marked with. The several connective lines of growth which can be used for determining the age of the fish. Point number two, they are composed of a thin upper layer of bone and lower layer of fiber connective tissues and they overlap each other. Each scales embedded in 
ए स्मॉल पॉकेट और डर्मिस एग्जाम्पल लंग फिशेज सर्वाइविंग डिप्नुअस सॉम होलस्टियंस आमिया एंड द लोअर टिल्यूस सच एस कार्प्स कॉर्ड्स इट एसी यू कैन सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ साइक्लोवाइड स्कल्स then afters i discuss about the tinoid skulls actually these are the characteristics of modern higher teriosts such as perch sunfish in form the structure and arrangement they are similar to the cyclovide skulls point number 2 they are more formally attached and their exposed free hind parts which are not overlapped bears numbers as smalls and comb like teeth or spines intermediate type between cycloid and tinoid skulls are also occurred point number 3 the sudden fishes such as flounders may bears both types tinoid skulls and dorsally and cycloid ventrally example higher bony fishes perches and bony sunfishes so you can see the example of perch fish next you can see the example of green sunfish and this is the structure of tinoid skulls then after i discuss about the modifications of skulls some fishes are totally skullless or necked such as torpedo electric rays and catfishes in eels they are minute and deeply embedded in dermis in some fishes and chimeras they become localized in globi and tetrodons and porcupines fishes diodons they develop into large protective spines making it difficult to be swallowed next point in trunk fishes they form a complete bony box in asypensers stout bony fishes bony plates or escutes from a bony armor shark teeth are modified large plecoid skulls point number 3 a string of a string race is a modified plecoid skulls the rostrums of shawfish are formed by plecoid skulls point number 4 in hippocampus sea horse and sin grenthus pyphis the skulls become fused to form a protective bony ring around the body so you can see the structure of electric fish torpedo torpedo and generate the electric in water current you can see the structure of catfish next point uses of skulls actually the structure of skulls is useful in broad classification of the group thus among the fishes plecoid skulls are characteristics of the 
chondroctis. Ganoidal skulls are found in the primitive bony fishes, while the cycloid and tenoidal skulls are found in the higher teleosts. Point number second, scales from a protective covering of ascoesclaton on the body, scales throughout life incise with the feces. Point number three, growth result in concentric lines which mark is determination and determine possibles in Shalomon. Trout, bass and several other species for every species its scale pattern is rather constant. Point number four, thus arrangement number from and structure of scales play important role in identifications and classifications of fish species. Then after, then after the last one, this is the conclusions. After going through the above discussions, the fish scale is a small rigid plate that grow out the skin of a fish. The skin of most fishes is covered with three protective scales which can also provide effective combo flares and through the use of reflection and coloration as well as possible hydrodynamic advantages. So fish scales are part of fishes integumentous system and are produced from the mesoderm layer of the dermis. Next, the important reference book for a study of this topic. Thank you.